KP, you've got the coin. Heads. Heads called. Tails, New York. KP, you've won the toss. What have you decided to do? Uh, we're going to board first. And the reason for that? Um, obviously, start of a tournament. Obviously, a couple of guys coming into the fray. Not sure what's going to happen you know, on a track like this. Um, just a couple of practice matches, but just to get in it. Um, again, yes, it's pretty hot, but this is what we can play. Cricket can't play in the rain. Bounce. Surprising him a little. Yeah, that's the thing to look out for, both these sides. I think we'll be looking to... Just pick up the variation. A little flick at it outside the off stump and Bolt yet again with a wicket in the first over. It's just Bolt doing Bolt things. Nip this ball away from the, get a little bit of movement away from the batsman. Not quite a back foot punch, not quite a cut shot. The clock, it's a skyer. Nicholas Puran calls for it and takes it in the end. Maybe the frustrations for Quinton de Kock just showing, wanting to get on with it, score some runs. Instead, they find themselves two down. Called for it straight away. Again, looking just to nip that ball back in. Quinton de Kock does love to whip the ball over that leg side. And it just stays in the gloves. He wants to just try and make something happen yet, does Jones. Uh, for so long has been the vice captain for USA. Making the decision to step out and come towards the bowler. And the key to that, just reset himself, got his balance and swung it away to the leg side. Fuller in length than a sparkling on drive. It'll test out the outfield. We'll see the pace of it. And it's quick enough to just roll down that little hill to take it to the rope, just the second boundary. Into the right-hander, onto his pad. That's straight, that's straight. That will be given. Looks for the big one, man out there. Takes the catch. And Khan wins the mini battle against Klassen. It's a big, big moment in the match. That's picked up nicely first up and is picked up superbly for six. Nicely played. Nicely played, straight down the ground. That's with power. That's four. No foot movement at all. Just clubbed down the ground for a boundary. Slip in position. <laughs> Peran was very vocal. Rashid Khan actually just joined that appeal. Coming up now. Pitching in line, impact in line. And Wiggins is missing. He's got to fill in today. Can he go over the top? Can't do that. Picks out cover. Trent Bolt takes that catch quite comfortably. This is picked up nicely into the leg side. All or nothing time. Hope to get lucky, a player to just have one of those special innings. Use of the feet again. And this time it could prove fatal. It's a boundary and then gone. And sweet. Well, this is what you can fall to. It was a nice change of pace at the outside half of the bat. But that is extra risk means you bring the fielders into play. Good safe hands. They've been impressive. Inside edge, Fortune. It will be for Seattle need a lot more of that. Harmeet Singh does have this ability to hit it into funny areas. This time it wasn't where he's intending, but he does get a boundary, his first. And this is chipped, not out of the middle of the bat, but he's gonna get more than enough of it to get four. He's often just slightly shorter back there. And this occasion, too short, as that is put away beautifully, all the way for six. Tries to repeat the dose, and it's an excellent tumbling catch taken down there at long on by Tim David. You might get Rashid Khan once, you don't often get him twice. And does well. Not quite as short, no timing on this occasion. And he's a big man with safe hands. Yeah, DG, it's been uh, very tough for the Orcas. Sweetly timed. Flies all the way out the park. Sixer, a home run you'd see. 
fine way to start this phase. Cross seam delivery and just blasted down the ground. Beautiful shot from uh, Hamid Singh. How does he respond? Hard length, didn't get hold of it. And Tim David is so good in that region. He's got buckets, Tim David. Squeezes it through. He was searching for that Yorker, a little bit wide, but fortunate for the batter he gets for. Slaps it straight back past the bowler, doesn't get the distance. And it's Tim David again, running around, completing a relatively simple catch. Here's Bolt. Edge flies past Nicholas Peroni, was diving to his right. And it's a welcome boundary for Seattle. How much of a, a glove he got on that. Anything that's slightly pitched up uh, as a man can is going to open that left leg and just have a bit of go at it. I think he might be. Oh, it would have been a, a, a terrific catch, actually, had it been taken. Just couldn't quite uh, hold in that webbing. Starts at one. And goes straight into the hands of Rashid Khan. So... Yeah, I think uh, Karim Pollard realized that that was a big bound he had to go to. Had to get underneath that and hit it really well. Comfortably taken. And he'll feel a lot better, the 20-year-old Clinton, because he's off the mark straight away. Beautiful. Onto the front foot. Takes a little bit of courage as well on the surface where we've seen that bounce can really shoot up at you and it surprise you. Just giving enough width. It's all he needed. Not much of an invitation for Clinton. He'll be very happy with his first boundary. Tried to make some room for himself, but it's Gannon who gets the length right. He gave a little bit of width on that boundary, but now much straighter. Down the leg side it is, and Cameron Gannon will be very happy and celebrate as he points to his captain as if to say, yeah, this was a plan. The most viable option on the surface again, just uh, too much bounce for runner. Peran is going to have something to say about this. He has hammered that for half a dozen. What a wonderful shot that is. That is magnificent work from a guy who loves hitting sixes. Steps into it nicely. The balance was perfect. 289 feet. Going again. And that's number 96 for 2024. So clean and so long. The Seattle want to win this game. They have to get rid of this man. But that is a full swing of the bat. If we play it again, back with a square on the offside, there's no margin for error for Nicholas Peran in this sort of mood. 18 off the over so far. And there's four more, 22 off the over. That is brilliant. Two fours, two sixes, a two in the middle, five gone. What a spurt. Cracked away. Weathies. Four more runs. Dealing in boundaries only at the moment, Nicholas Peran. It's a half volley and that slammed away for a boundary. And it's extra deliveries because of three wides and 14 runs off the over. Six gone, 55 for two. Strikes the ball and does not move. Holds the pose. Cracked away. Weathies. Four more runs. Dealing in boundaries only at the moment, Nicholas Peran. Short again, might be out, is out, he's caught that, caught it cleanly. Zaman Khan has got that celebration out again. Test match arena as a front liner. That's a, uh, an edge. That was supposed to go 180 degrees away from where that ended up. Just going to come on there, bowl a few little seamers and he's thrashed away through the offside. We've seen some good fielding today. Now, is this going to be a chance? The fielder's going to have to come in, and he's put it down. I think he's got there. 
Noman Anwar just not able to hold on to it in the end. And another one goes down. This time it's Klassen. Not easy, but you've got to call it back-to-back -back drops. Roll through. Okay, we've got the ball next to the bat. So we're going to spike as the ball passes the bat, so it's definitely bat involved. You can stay with your original decision, let you know on your own screen. Two is the immediate call, and you're about to hear a massive roar because it's going to be another 41st T20 50 for Nicholas Poran. It comes with a boundary. Goes over the offside. Doesn't bother to run. One bounce, four. Waiting to pounce. It's really a flight mode, so to speak, when you're a batter looking to attack. Just get slow. Short and wide once again. It'll take some fielding and he won't get there. So that you always change. Pollard's gone high. And into the crowd to finish the game. What a shot from the captain, Kyron Pollard. Sees a fantastic victory, a commanding victory for MI New York. Again, the professionalism from MI New York with ball and now with bats.